Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review for something pretty cool. Now, this doesn't compare to a five, you know, to a surround sound or anything like that. But if you're on the go, you want to take some nice speakers that are not too big. Uh, right now, because I'm transferring my office from my other house to this house, I have a laptop where over there I have a, a computer. So I want something for my laptop that provides better sound quality than just onboard sound or, you know, know i even love my jbl that i use for you know um, uh, um for pretty much any bluetooth connection and it looks good but now i found something that has two speakers that gives me sort of surround sound a little bit that i could hear in each ear and i could feel good about it just like being on a pc and well let's get right into it <laughs> Okay, guys, so here it is. I'm going to take it out. Hold on. There we go. This is the baby right here. It's called SR, uh, sorry, CR2X, okay, Cube. Okay, so it goes go digital via USB or keep it analog with aux uh, inputs. Uh, Wires not for you, pair it to any Bluetooth enabled device. So you could do it as a, you know, hooked up with a USB. You could do it through Bluetooth without wires, or you could just hook it up with an aux directly. You could get a subwoofer, just make this maybe work. Uh, this thing doesn't obviously have a subwoofer, but uh, this is small, it says small footprint, room uh, filling sound, Bluetooth 5.0 plus USB. So just showing you guys how it looks from here. From here, this thing actually weighs more than I thought it weighs, but uh, here, and now we're going to just unbox it. All right, let me see here. Uh, let me see where it's coming from. You know how I am here. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Give me one moment. Okay, guys, took a while to get that uh, out. Let me get some distance here. So. Here we go. Oh. All right, guys. So as you can see, comes with an instruction booklet. Just the box here. Just to make sure it doesn't smash or anything. And right now, we're going to, that's how it is packed in there. We're going to take them all out one by one and see what happens. Okay. Just, I guess, just two speakers, giant speakers. Um, let's see if there's anything else here. All right. Comes with this box right here. Let's see how the heck this is. Give me a second. Right there, power brick. And these are aux cords and USB. And I guess uh, that's it. Um, not too much to it. Here we go. Let me seal this too. So this obviously keeps it dry for electronics. There we go. Let's pull this out. Love the way this thing looks. Um, hmm. God, I hope these don't light green because that's going to be mighty annoying. Oh subwoofer in here i guess i could hear that um so these are not uh you know bent you know articulate in any way but you can see right here let me put it in focus as you can see so you could hook it up directly um there passive speaker left and right just trying to see where the heck the usb connection is i guess we'll find out um all right, so that's, I mean, these things have some weight to them, so they didn't expect it to be this heavy. I thought it was much lighter than this, but it's, I mean, it, it is definitely high quality because it, you're able to do, you know, because of, of its size and the weight, you could, you, you know, you could really tell. So I see, so here is the USB and that right here. So I guess... 
Huh. So it is the subwoofer, so you could optionally get a subwoofer if you want. Uh, the thing that kind of gets me here is if I want two speakers to work, I need to use an aux because there's no USB on this. There's only a USB on one thing, which is just this baby right here, uh, if I'm correct. So that is something uh, to note. All right. I just want to see here what we got. And we're going to play some stuff, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what's what. Hold on. It's about a three-foot cord, I would say. Yeah. Right, about three feet, I think, maybe even slightly more. Maybe about, yeah, I think it's about three feet. So, not bad. I'll tell you, so on this one, you have touch controls for volume, which is pretty cool. Um, so let me get this set up and get right back to you. Okay, guys, pardon the mess, but here we go. We turn it on. Power on. Now I hate that you can't turn this off, but these right here, touch screen, so really cool. I like that these don't light up because that would have been annoying as hell, but now I'm going to show you guys the sound quality. We're going to play one of my videos right here, so you guys are going to see how it is, and then we're going to play some music too. So, review about something really, really cool. Uh, you know, I... <sighs> Hello guys, this is Doc. Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and today we're going to be doing a product review about something really cool that I wanted to run. I showed you guys the other uh, bike gloves, but these are some uh, new ones that I'm actually taking a look at for summer and winter. So right now we're going to do the summer one. Okay, uh, so guys. We're going to so be doing a review on this. So that's uh, this. Now I'm going to do. Okay, guys, here's from my album soon to come out. Uh, here's uh, some music. Okay, guys, so as you can see, the beats are coming out perfect from it. There's only one thing that kind of annoys me. There's no lights here. Not that I care because this light is annoying. It's kind of dim, but it, you know, you kind of wish you could shut that, that thing off, but for some reason you just can't. Uh, so, like I said, works on Bluetooth. Uh, the way you connect them both, you need the aux to connect this to this, and then uh, I'm hooking it up to my laptop uh through usb and of course through a power brick uh through there i just want to check out one thing if it actually could draw enough power without that no i can't so you need to have a uh power cord uh stuck at all times which kind of sucks i thought that the power us on. that the usb would kind of power it but i guess because it's too uh i believe it's 60 watt uh because of that it needs to draw some energy but Anyways, let's go to the final say. So guys, what do I think? Well, like I said, it's not going to replace your surround sound. I do wish these speakers were a little bit smaller, uh, only because I'm really cramped for size, and I thought it was smaller based on the photo. But I do love the, you know, it makes a night and day difference on a laptop. 
on anything that you don't have speakers for and have, inter uh, you know, internal speakers and you want kind of to have external speakers. These would be a great, great start. Looks really cool. I just wish there were more like that. It was more articulate. Uh, you know, this thing has no articulation whatsoever. It's kind of stuck the way it is. Uh, but, you know, you, again, you could hook it up directly to a subwoofer and get really superior sound out of this. Without the subwoofer, I think it sounds really nice, uh, really good, not too over the top. Again, not here to replace surround sound, but at the same time with these two on, makes, you know, great to watch movies, great to play games all around. Um, so what am I going to rate this thing? Well, 7 out of 10. Uh, and the reason why I didn't rate it 8 out of 10, as I don't, I'm not going to obviously give it a 10, but uh, the reason why I didn't give it an 8 out of 10, there's a lot of issues here. One, the green light can't shut off. Another one is the fact that I can't run it, um, you know, without a power brick. Like I would love something I could carry with me, like the JBLs. I could just recharge them. I would have loved to have like a rechargeable in there maybe or whatnot. I don't know. Uh, you know, just to have that when it says Bluetooth, you kind of figure you could do that. But it does have a lot of options here and you could also hook up your earphones directly to it, which does a great job actually in transmitting sound. It is not the best sound in the world. It is great sound, but not the best sound, obviously, than you're going to get in a... Uh, uh, surround sound and all of that stuff. The only thing is that really irks my nerves is the fact that, um, well, first I, I, I need to kind of connect them both with cables already uh, to have uh, both speakers working at the same time. Very annoying. Uh, I wish it was just like a single, you know, cable or something like that that could probably work which used to be with my other uh, back in the day in Packard Bell they had speakers that you could do that and it was but um these kind of remind me of my creative uh, sound blaster speakers uh back in the day when I had the 2.1 uh, uh surround sound or whatever but it, you know it, it had a um a subwoofer which this one does not so that you know you could get the subwoofer for it and pay a little bit more but is what it is I uh, love the touch, uh, you know, kind of the touch screen, whatever, even though it's not touch screen, but, you know, a touch sensitive uh, pad for the volume. That's pretty cool. Um, do love the fact that you could shut them off with a switch in the back. And, you know, I think this is annoying as hell, too, that every time I turn it on, it's going to say this. Power on. Don't want that to happen. That's really incredibly annoying. Um, so there are some, you know, things in it that... Um, you know, and also the price, I mean, nearly, what is it? Nearly $200 for these speakers. You could do well with other speakers that are going to be under that. The JBLs are great. Uh, it's like a subwoofer and speaker in one that you could just carry around with you anywhere. And those are pretty freaking dope. But, uh, all in all to have some good sound to monitor and to hear music and, and to, you know, watch a movie and all of that and not have to worry about a battery. It's good to know that you have something like this that you can just get. I just wish it was cheaper, smaller and less heavier, but, uh, again, desktop speakers. So it's made for the desktop, not really for traveling. Uh, I would rate this. Yeah. Like, uh, I would say a seven out of 10 easy. I think it is really good. I am definitely happy with my purchase. Would I recommend it to my friends and family? Absolutely, I would. I think it's a great uh, speaker system to have, especially if you're cramped for space, uh, even though I wish they were smaller. But I'm saying you, could, you can't do surround sound. You want something like a speaker and a subwoofer all in one. This thing kind of feels like it. It has good on the bass. You can hear it just by itself because, you know, like I said, it reminds me of the Creative Sound Blaster, as you can see. So it just goes like... Brr, brr. But uh, I do wish that they, you know, in the kit for 200 bucks, I know probably asking for too much, a small little subwoofer would have been great to have, an ex you know, another one to hook up to. But this thing is really cool that you could, you know, daisy chain them and, you know, make them work, you know, uh, with the... Uh, subwoofer and not have a issue with it uh also i do you know i know some people said they didn't like the uh sound that was coming out of the earphones uh of their headphones and stuff that was hooked up to it well here's the thing guys i think you should check your headphones because this thing actually does a great job it translates perfectly i see no uh issue with it whatsoever it's just basically a pass-through so it wouldn't be this that's the issue it would be more or less the headphones that you're using 
I use uh, this these headphones right here by a company called Sinal or Sinal or whatever. Uh, have had great great experiences in monitoring and you know hearing music, uh, you know movies when you know people are asleep and you want to kind of do it in the silence. It's cool to use. I like you know high fairly expensive uh, these weren't expensive though they were like about i think it was like 80 bucks i got them on sale on bnh uh if you're ever in the new york city area you could always drop in there and just you know ask them or just uh, hear a bunch of them and see which ones are good this one was pretty economical and it does a great job so i liked it i don't know you might like something else but i think it's pretty cool uh so all in all like I said, I definitely recommend it. Uh, let me know what you guys think if you use this before. The light not shutting off really ticks me off, but I'm probably <coughs> going to put an electric tape on it and just shut it off and be done with it. Because I never understood why you need that when the volume uh, clearly shows, you know, dot, dot, dot. It's on the whole time. So, I mean... Why do you need that green light that's there just to annoy the hell out of you? Especially when it's not even on the other side. So it just doesn't make any sense. But um, is what it is. Uh, definitely would recommend it. Pretty cool. I'm going to make some room on my table. And, it, you know, it's still, you know, small. It's not very, very big. It's just, I don't know. The, yeah, for the cramped space I'm in, I, I wanted it smaller. So I'm going to fix it up here. Make it uh, nice till I bring my computer here with my surround sound. Then I won't probably have any need for these anymore, but uh, they're pretty freaking cool. So definitely recommend them, uh, highly recommend them. Uh, $200 is pretty steep. If you could get them cheaper, get them on sale, then I would say, you know, definitely an 8 out of 10. But due to the price and every th those little caveats there, I, I would say 7 out of 10. Would definitely recommend it to my friends and family. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button. As always, guys, just word of mouth on our road to 10,000 subscribers. You know, so share it with everybody you know. Make the family grow. Comment down below. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.